guys, welcome to another episode of the Granny Joe Show. Today we're going to be playing Water Me because I keep seeing it on my front page on Itchio and I just want to know what the hell it is. Uh, the frame rate ain't great for it, as you can tell. I don't know if that's just me or what, but uh, let's name it Granny. Yeah, it's kind of lagging. I don't know if that's just me or if it's the game. Or what. So we're going to name it Granny Joe. Let's so st start. Okay, so I guess we're just supposed to water this plant. Talk to. What do you say? Uh, hello, gorgeous. Sometimes I just feel like you really get me. Look how healthy you look. I'm a plant wizard. Don't say hello, gorgeous. Can I water? Yeah, okay. How do I water it, though? Um, okay. Print the leaves. Okay, we did that. South Carolina Public Radio. This is South Carolina Focus. Interesting. Cut underwood. Let's listen to some music. It's very nice. Okay, can we do anything else? Let there be light. That I feel like it's getting light from outside, right? Next day. So I watered it. So it should be fine. Is it the next day? Okay. I guess we'll. Do it some more. Can we talk to it maybe? Some more. I bet you like some good sun, wouldn't you? Why won't you fl don't you flower? You look better than better with a flower. Hmm. I I feel like we should probably be nice to it. Uh I don't think a flashlight is considered like a sun lamp. Like I think you're supposed to use like an actual sun lamp. Not a flashlight, because I don't think it has a, the same UV UV lighting, but whatever. Okay. I'm Laura Huntsberger for South Carolina Public Radio. According to the state's emergency management division, the entire state of South Carolina could experience significant flooding this weekend. Columbia's mayor Steve Benjamin says that although rain may not seem threatening, the roads may be dangerous. Twelve inches of water can float a small SUV. I guess there's a radio if you can't hear us just talk about how there's a lot of flooding. So I guess maybe we don't water the plant because it's raining outside. I mean the window's open. So I'm not going to water it. Yesterday, nearly seven inches of rain fell in Columbia, South Carolina. The most rain ever recorded in a single day in the state's capital. It followed days of heavy rains, leading to widespread flooding. At least seven people have died in the state. Three of them. That's horrible. I don't want to say that. Mayor Steve Benjamin. It is still raining there, and he's been manning the city's emergency center for several days now. Good morning. Good morning, Rita. How much of your city is underwater at this moment? I guess I'll ask if it's drowning, but I, I guess I don't have to water it. Maybe haven't seen anything like this before. No one's seen anything like this before. We were anticipating a... Are we all going to die? This is a thousand year event. This state has not seen anything like this at least for the past millennia. Several portions of our city are underwater. We're dealing with downed trees, downed power lines, a disrupted water. It's just talking about how there's constant flooding. Right you can't hear it. I feel like maybe we should leave. Like stop watering this plant and go. Alright. Much of what we need. This is heavy equipment that's on the road. So when you look at that 
um, high water, those high water vehicles and all of those things. They need to be able to get through um, in and out. We've worked very closely with Lexington County today. We know that they're going through a lot of issues. Um, absolutely need everybody to stay home. Or at least to stay home. Okay, so I'm going to water it because the windows are closed. We've really dealt with that. This is um, different than a hurricane because it's water and it's slow moving and it's sitting and we can't just take the water out. So as long as it sits, we just need to do the best we can at controlling the environment around it, the situation around it. We seem to be fine, like the whoever the main character is. Okay. Okay. Well, it's dead, but I was taking care of it. It didn't look like it was dying. I was... Well, I'm confused because I was... Watering it, and when the window is open, I don't see reason why I need to water it. You know, because it's getting water from the rain, maybe. Your plant died. Sad face. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what I think of it, because... The story itself seems kind of interesting, but, um, it doesn't give a lot of feedback on if the plant, you need to water the plant, or if you don't water the plant. Um, yeah, it's just not a lot of visual feedback. Like, I can't tell if I'm overwatering it, or if I need to water it more, or if I need to cut it, like... And I'm not sure if that was purposeful, like it's supposed to die at some point. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. I don't know. I'm kind of perplexed. There's a lot of Let's Play videos of this. I don't know. I feel like maybe I was doing it wrong. But, um, this was Water Me. Um, uh, I mean, it seems interesting. It has a low frame rate and the graphics seem fine. It seems like an interesting concept, but just maybe I'm not getting it. But uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Water Me on Itchio.